All right, chat, let's talk about it. We, uh, at time of recording, I believe we saw the last of the Eraserhead spoilers. Excuse me. Eraserhead previews for uh, for the uh, starter decks. Um, there's, a, there's a lot to happen, and there's enough that I really want. I just want to talk about it, right? Um, maybe maybe there might be some more coming out here uh, in a bit. And I just want to give my, my first ideas, first impressions. A lot of people have been, been putting stuff out. And so uh, let's talk about Eraserhead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to do this. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, we have, we have a racer head. Uh, 627. He's got the three symbols, all void water. Good symbol spread for him. Um, I like that he's a six hand size character, not seven. Uh, this gives me a lot of, uh, a lot of hope for, uh, like maybe like a five hand size racer head or, or something like that. That'd be cool. Um, enhance your attack. It's one speed for each attack in your card pool, period. If it is completely blocked, draw one card, period. Response commit after rival plays an attack. Uh, choose one ability on that attack. Period. It loses that ability until the end of the turn. Period. Okay, let's, we'll take a bit step by step by step. First and foremost, I think enhance is incredible. I think enhance is so so good. Um, as a uh, if you take on offense, if you take on offense, um, he is a better aggressive character than the seven hands has uh, a racer head. Uh, if you can play three attacks, you are netting plus one speed on every attack that you play, right? Um, if you are playing a single poke, it is not as good, right? Um, if you're playing a, a poke build path type game plan, then Eraser Head is technically worse because of the, it only gets plus one speed as opposed to the discard a card, draw a card for, for whatever. And the seven hand size Eraser is only a seven hand size asterisk because every one of those cards, one of them has to be uh, a race, right? So you're a six hand size character, but, but, or seven, but one is a race. So you only have six different options, and then one is a race. So I actually like this character better than the regular racer head just for that top ability. The only issue that this guy has is his defense sucks because you don't get to just discard a card and then add that card back to your hand for minus two speed. So there you go. And then, and then, and then, um, if they do, uh, anytime they don't block you, you get to increase your hand size. Ooh, it says if it is completely blocked. If it's completely blocked, you draw a card. Um, so, so he also says that on every move has the potential to, if I, if I don't get to net value my momentum, I do get to net value a bonus card up into my hand, um, which is, which is great. Good, good exchange rate. And that's not even counting the response commit after rival plays an attack, choose one ability on that, that attack. It loses that ability for the rest of the turn. That's insane, guys. <laughs> that is so crazy good. Being able to point and click your opponent's best piece, the part that you can't deal with, and to say, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, let's just look at Back Alley Haymaker, right? Hey, I don't want to deal with the build. It's gone. I don't want to deal with Stun 2. It's gone. I don't want to deal with EX. It's gone. It's my choice, right? Uh, commit, that doesn't happen. There's so many, so many amazing abilities um, that, uh, that, that, that happens. It, it, it is... It's mind-boggling how good this card is. Um, Hard count is in the Typhoon. It makes you kind of uh, makes that a kind of dead card if your opponent has it down. It is a very niche selective example, but you're right. Yeah, I mean, there's there's counterplay. I think, yeah, there's there's definite definite counterplay. Um, but no, I uh, I think scale of one to ten, this is like an eight or a nine up for me. I think this character is is awesome and is going to see a ton <laughs> a ton of play, just an absolute ton of play. I love it. You know, it's absolute cracked versus specialized sound waves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You just pick. You just hey, that what you don't draw a card or you don't stack. It's like there's there's some there's some crazy crazy good interactions there. Um, we can move on to some of his attacks. Um, blind binding shoulder rush. Uh, five three. Uh, two mid. Uh, two mid block, four mid for six, slam weapon combo attack. That's pretty good. Um, combo enhance, ready one foundation. It's not been ready this combat phase. Beautiful. And then enhance the next combo attack you try to play against minus one difficulty. Insane. Yeah, this card's such a such a good flow bread and butter card. This card's super super red. Um, you either take and you play it on the uh, if you if you have two of these right. If you just have a bunch of these, they're played on four diffs and you get to ready a card. And so like. If you just have all of these, you just like get to do some some crazy stuff. You get to just do some absolutely nutty stuff. How cool! Uh, I think this card is is super super red, and I think it's gonna see a lot of play just because like this stat lineup is very good. Not to mention inside of I just I'll just have to do this right inside of a racer head, it um it it just gets like unbelievably fast. So like it's it's just like super good. <laughs> it's super super good. Huh, he can remove flash? Yeah, he can remove whatever keyword he wants, right? It's a keywords. He can remove any keyword ability. He cannot remove keyword traits, right? Choose one ability on that card. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very good. 
It's very, very good. Moving on. Erasure, uh, Erasure Grasp, uh, 5-3, 2 mid for 5. Remember that that 2 is very, very deceptive because you play it third. It's a 5 mid for 5. Seal 1 Rival Foundation's deck gets X speed, X equals the printed difficulty of the Seal Foundation. What an insane ability. You play this as a 6 and you just say that one doesn't work anymore. Um, then enhance your, your next combo weapon, it gets plus 3 damage. So you play this as a second move and then your, th your, your third move now gets plus 3, plus 3 because of what Eraser Head does. Nuts so so good um i think that like like th these these combo moves are going to be so good and we haven't even thought about the fact that you get to you get to go back in time and you get to play all boys who had one stuff crazy absolutely crazy binding cloth whiplash four three two low for five fury love it weapon combos with a combo common answer is tactics not counters progressive difficulty for the rest of the turn uh this card is fine this card is neat this card can see play um, being a four diff, five damage move feels good. And being able to string out multiples of these, I think the only issue with this card inside of him is he's a six hander. But if you decide to block this move fully and not take your five huge damage, then he's just going to redraw the card. So he's not a six hander. I don't know. There's something, there's something here. I don't know if this is the best attack, but this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Um, also, like, if it's your second attack, it's like a 4 over 5, so that it's, they don't want to interact with, it doesn't count as a progressive, like, 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 there's some schmoves here for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, I just don't know if there's, like, a better option in a, in an earlier kit, you know? But the fact that it is a weapon and a combo just, like, feels great. Feels great. Uh, no progressive equals longer strings equals more speed. I mean, you're not wrong, but we gotta have, we gotta have the cards to do so, right? So as long as we can keep adding cards into our, into our hand, like, I, 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 I completely, completely and totally agree with you. Yeah, you're, it's, it's a great point, Logan. Aerial drop. Four, three, three high for four. Weapon combo with a combo. Enhance, or combo enhance. This deck gets two damage. Beautiful. Uh, enhance discard moment of this deck gets done too. Insane. Um, if you are not looking to, uh, uh, so under the, uh, void and water symbol, if you want a stun to attack, this card, this card's cracked. This card's super, super good. Um, it's just a, if we have, if we have a combo and we're a racer head, right? It's a five high for six on a four diff that gets stunned too. Um, that's like as good as playing a uh, back alley haymaker, right? Back alley haymaker just like draws you the card in. It doesn't hit quite as hard different block zone like there's like this this card is exceptionally good as long as you can you can make your combo happen and can discard the momentum like it like that feels great that feels super super good yeah i dig a lot and if it's fully blocked you get to draw a card it's good good stuff binding cloth drop kick uh four three four high four kick weapon combo weapon combo enhance discard a card colon this attack gets four damage great yeah, um, I think the ability to discard a foundation card on your kill turn, this, this could be like the last move that you play, right? And you just like make it eight damage for no reason. Um, you give it a bunch of speed, you give, make it eight damage. Not to mention there's some there's some foundation support later on in the kit that says it. Um, it all, this card also lets you uh, use the discard a card off of a oh, Razorhead 1's kit, the one where he's wrapped up, uh, early riser or late riser or something like that, where it gets an extra like two speed or, or something. Um, so it's plus two, plus four. What an, what an insane tactic with this card. Great. Um, it's probably going to be really good in the starter decks, um, but I don't know if it's going to be very good in competitive play. It just really depends on on how good this discard one card colon is. Uh, really playable in a lot of seven-handers. Not so playable in, in six or five, which, unfortunately, you know. Um, binding Cloth Precision. First and foremost, before we read anything else, did you guys notice the thumb? You guys notice the thumb on the on the the edge of the edge of the picture? How cool! How cool, huh? It's it's really popping out at you. Uh, three diff, which is insane. Three three two low for three weapon combo weapon. Combo hands look the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Insane ability. Insane, actually. Hey, I'll cheat. Boop, it's gone. Oh, it's a five. I'll leave it there. Oh, it's an attack. I have a draw card. Boop, I'll draw. Um, if this is the third card in your card pool, it gets plus three speed and plus five damage. If it's the fifth card in your card pool, it gets plus three speed and plus three damage. Insane! <laughs> Inside of a Razorhead, it becomes a five low for, uh, for six. And it also gets the five speed. So it's a ten low for six. 
And if there's any way to give it even more damage, like I don't know, there's some other there's some other things of like like in the first racer hit kit, there's like um, give this next thing plus two damage. Like this thing gets absolutely massive, and it's a three diff. Um, it's probably just gonna end up being the third attack played on a five nine times out of ten. It's be a, a, a four low for five, just in anything that it wants to be, because that's just a regular enhance, not even the combo enhance. Um, yeah, it, it's this this card is. This card is good and we'll see play in, in a lot in a lot of decks. It's off zone. It's a three diff. It's got a damn good block. This card, this card is the reason. I think this might be the one of in the deck, so that you can like you have to buy four of this because of how good this card is. Roundhouse exhaust. Uh this is weird that it's in the eraser head kit, but I dig it, you know. There it is. Neat. Uh four three. 3 mid for 5, EX2 kick, combo kick, combo enhance. The speed is attack cannot be reduced by rival effects, period. And then enhance if its speed is 6 or greater, commit a foundation. This card is insane, actually. Um, this card's very, very good for uh, Ida. Ida 1, Ida 2, Ida 3. Um, this card's very good for Ingenium. This card, this card's super, super good of just like, yo, it, it, it is, it is crazy fast. It's a six mid. It can't be reduced. Anytime that you mess with it, uh, I'll get to do things. Um, you can't affect the speed at all. And then I just point and click your best foundation. Um, I get to pick, boop, commit that one. Like, uh, the card, um, 50 meter tongue or whatever from Oswee's kit is a good card. The issue is that it's that it's hard to get off, right? And there's better things that also we can be doing. But like, if your character is committed, commit a foundation is like a way harder thing to do than just having this thing be six or greater speed. So how cool? How cool? And it fits really cool in the theme of um, of a racer head of like your attack is one speed for each committed foundation. So or each each uh, card in your card pool, each attack in your card pool. Excuse me, I'll, I'll clarify. Um, and so like you just play it as a six. It's a six mid for five. And then you just whatever or you can just ex to get it there right and that's just a regular enhance so you could just like ex this thing twice or just play it on the four different like like this card's this card's going to see play in a, in a lot in a lot of these characters it's very cool it's very cool and i'm pretty sure this is the last tag we have total erasure binding uh four three one mid block very cool very cool uh free love that's awesome um uh four high for five powerful three weapon combo weapon combo uh combo enhanced colon seal through rebel foundations period insane uh it doesn't have water though yeah that's fine it's got order yeah uh just screams you are yeah because of the board powerful three i mean this is probably going to be the you are this is probably going to be the one of in the deck right it's either that or it's or it's this just to make them buy make you buy four of this card um, combo enhance, seal with three rival foundations. You get to select, you get to pick them. Beep, boop, boop. Just poke three things and say you don't have them. And then enhance, your rival cannot play abilities on their on their character during this attack. This is just a regular enhance. This is a race on an attack card. I saw people uh, complaining online of the fact that, like, why doesn't a racer head use a race uh, as well as a racer head one? It's because they gave it to him on an attack. <laughs> he's, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah, very, very cool. Um, all in all, attack-wise, I think there's some real winners and some real uh real losers here, but when it when it look when I when I zoom out and I look at it as like a teaching tool, like the like the Bakugo and uh and Midoriya starter decks were, I think this starter deck looks really, really good. I think there's a lot of cool, interesting things to have happen um inside of it. I think the only issue is the complication of what does combo mean, right? Um but like we have combo, this attack gains cannot be played unless the card immediately preceding it that matches the requirements of the parentheses. Easy, easy. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, foundations. Pro to dry eyes. I probably should have put this later. This card's nuts. Uh, three, five, two mid response once per turn. After this card is committed due to your rival's effect, ready to face on foundations. Period. Play a ball committed. So this is not a very, very egregious ability. This ability has been on a lot of universes cards before, and 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 to the point where, to the point where it wasn't even uh ready to face down foundations. It was just ready, ready to foundations and have been ready. And so it was just like I commit this. I'll ready both of these. And so like, the fact that this is face downs is actually really good. I think um, because. It definitely has this other ability of enhance discard a card colon your attack skip plus one damage for the rest of the turn period insane <laughs> how nutty how absolutely nuts uh it is incredible it's so so good uh this is going to make any any string character 
nuts. It's gonna it's gonna be s any string character can take. I've got three attacks in my hand. Uh, I've got four attacks. I've got three foundations. I'm gonna play my attack. I'm gonna discard this, and everything's gonna get plus one. I'll just I'll play this. I'll discard this. Everything's plus one. So if you can either find more cards in your hand, which a racer head does, if you full block him, and you're gonna want to full block him because everything's gonna get massive. Everything is plus one, plus one essentially, right? Um, or you're like a seven hand size character and can just like like even even discarding two foundations and playing five playing out five attacks, giving plus two damage on everything, feels amazing. Feels super super good. Decent block two, yeah. This card this card's super super good. Um, it's not unique, which means the response might be good. The question is like in in your water decks, is this card better than um, something like Rescue Completed, right? Does it take the take the spot of sticky balls? Like, there's a lot of really solid three diffs here, but I think under all and uh, all and void specifically all. I think the all decks are gonna be are gonna love this card. Hey, you know what's really good at drawing cards? Staff strike. <laughs> you know what's great at drawing cards? You know what wants to manipulate the top card of the discard pile so they can maybe put something in and then build it in? Staff strike decks. Yeah, this card this card's gonna help staff strike decks a ton. Um, so how cool? Uh, uh, patient observation. Two six, boo! Uh, three low, uh, three low block breaker one, enhance commit discard momentum colon attack. It's minus four speed. This is the first six check that we have on these three three symbols. Asterisk that's legally to play, um, and so I'm really happy about that. This this is really really cool. Um, and the enhance commit attack. It's minus four speed is not that bad. It's incredibly highly costed. Commit and discard momentum feels like a totally fair thing to do. This is a totally fair thing to do. Um, this and Denki Void. Yeah, that just means like you have to play Denki, uh, uh, avoid Denki. So there, you have that there. Um, yeah, two, six, three, low block, breaker one. It's a, uh, it's good. Uh, you don't know which card, uh, I want to be the six when you see it. Uh, exhausted exclamation, two, five, three, mid block, enhance commit. If your character is committed, draw one card, period. It is official. I wish, uh, I wish Froppy one to be banned. I'm officially signing the petition. Sign my petition, please, to ban that character. The only reason you ever wanted to play uh, Asui under... Uh, the only reason you ever wanted to play Asui under life was the, uh, the the extra draw on the foundations that she has, and now she has this. Um, this card is going to blow that character out of the water, and we should 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 ban Asui 1. I think this... Unless there's, unless there's something... Such a silver bazooka in set 3... Right, unless there's a silver bazooka, which we should see all the cards that come out. See how the meta flows. Blah, 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 blah. If nothing, if nothing else changed and this card just existed, we got a we got a banner. Um, this is neat in Kamui Woods too. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. ban him too. Uh, I, I think I think that the water symbol not being able to draw cards was one of its one of its big uh, detriments and one of the things that really kept it down. Right. Um, I, I think I think man, I think this is just gonna push her up and over the edge, man. I am very, very nervous about this card. With that said, though, it's a 2-5-3 mid block. And so, <sighs> any character who commits wants to play this. The issue is, is like, any character that wants to commit, how many of those are there, right? Like, like Mineta 1, Asui 1, right? Like, like who actually wants to commit under these three symbols to do stuff, right? I guess, I guess under the all symbol, we've got like Kirishima 2, but he only commits on defense, right? 18 on symbols. It's, but but like like who is it? Who is it? You know? Like who who really benefits off of this offensively, right? Defensive defensive commit draw? I love. I think that's really sick, actually. Right? If passing towards said only your opponent's turn, I think we'd be super down. Midori would be sad, but we'd be super down, right? But like this card says just if your character's committed. Yeah. Uh, dropping in from above, two five two high block, enhance commit. Your high attack gets plus two damage. What do we have highs wise? No, no, no. Yes. So this thing is massive. This thing is absolutely yoked. This thing gets yoked. Oh my goodness, rich get richer, huh? No, no. Yes. Give me one second. Anywho, let's talk about these cool racer cards. Uh. Other thing, uh, enhance if your first attack is not blocked this turn, your attack gets plus one damage. We have this? We have this? Um, isn't there, isn't there a, isn't there a card that already does this? Isn't there already a card that does this? I don't know. I have no idea. 
There, there's there's the tape. No, that gets that gets a that gets a plus one damage. Classmates give speed. Classmates give speed. That's what we're talking about. Thank you, Crossfade. Thank you, Crossfade. Ambush. Ambush. Ambush that it says if it is blocked. So this says if it is blocked versus is not blocked. The void symbol always gets damage, whether you block or not. You have to you have to play a bunch of bad two five two five attacks. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. To play a bunch of bad two five attacks for everything to get damaged. Let's go. That's what we're talking about. Uh dedicated structure. Uh it's one five two mid enhanced flip. This range attack gets plus three or minus three damage. Yeah, this probably could have been the six check, huh? Huh? This probably could have been it, right, Islin? Yeah, this could have been the six check. Not not this thing over here. Yeah. Oh, not there yet. That card's also broken. Um, yeah, this card's great. This card's super, super good. I don't know how meta relevant it's going to be. I mean it's I mean it's a one five, right? It reminds me, um, I guess have a starter deck cycle uh, have a starter deck cycle of six checks yeah I, I, that makes sense to me that makes sense to me that this would be the six check but i don't know maybe maybe, maybe this card's broken if it if it is yeah the card seems pretty strong i mean they ranged in set one at least was the most represented keyword that there was it was not punch it was not fury it was ranged so um maybe, maybe this thing being a six might have just been a little too little too goaded daunting message one five two low enhanced flip if your current health is less than half of your maximum health commit one rival foundation this card's nuts this card's so crazy good for ending out games um if you take and you have this card you have got like two of these cards it's selective stunt too like we thought we thought this card was good we thought this card was good when you're up when you're when you're half dead you're just like that one doesn't work that one doesn't work all right now i'll kill you right Froppy, that you yeah it's like like ban the frog <laughs> get rid of her uh yeah this card's this card's great uh this card's got uh, 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 so the void symbol now has like more low block spam like like the the all symbol has more low block spam uh, like like this card is going to be like a three of an every deck that can play it this card is so so good i do think it's really interesting though that they decided to go with the if your current health is less than half of your maximum health as opposed to as opposed to if you're at 10 or less like what dropkick slicer says that's interesting because there is a keyword in universe's standard that is the desperation keyword that is literally this, but as like a uh, as a gated ability as opposed to whatever. So that's interesting. Because this this can also just be enhanced flip colon, and then we don't even care about any of this. So like you can just do it without it. Binding cloth mastery two four one mid. This card has the weapon keyword enhanced flip on phone one foundation colon. This attack gets minus one damage. That's insane. <laughs> this is super super good. Um. Yeah, this card, this card's, this card's great. Uh, enhanced commit if the next deck you try to play has binding in its name, it gets a minus two difficulty. Neat. You just are bet, uh, hedging your bets. Um, hey, I think I'm gonna commit one. So I'll, uh, I think I'm gonna commit a couple. So I'm gonna commit one now to make my, my difficulty a little, little easier to play. Um, but this enhanced flip, uh, minus one is so good. I saw a lot of people talking about um, void cementos and a way for for him to just turbo out his uh, his stage. And you're 100 percent right. There's a lot of good uh, void. Uh, damage reduction, and this card just adds to it, right? Imagine commit resistance and then flip your resistance for minus two to the next minus one on this one. Nuts, absolutely nuts. Uh, acrobatic, uh, zero five. <gasps> the void symbol got a zero diff. Uh, two mid block, empty block this card, remove it. What a crazy good ability. That card's so so good. Enhance destroy this deck, it's minus one speed, play a ball committed. Instantly a four of in every symbol that can play it. This says that all of your. Uh, if you block with this, all of your cards have minus, uh, all of your opponent's cards have minus one speed because you lose the card out of progressive difficulty. This card says you, uh, when you block with it, those water stuffing decks are, are less effective. And it also says whenever I build it out, I've got a couple of these, fic uh, a couple of these built, I get to destroy it. Uh, can that trigger Amphibious? Yes. Yes, it does. It very much can trigger Amphibious. You're, you're correct. Yeah, this this card, uh, this is just better than shock absorption in every way. I actually disagree with that. I think shock absorption um, is a different card as opposed to a better card. Three different symbols doing slightly different things. Destroy for minus two is better than destroy for minus one. It just is, right? But it's slightly heavy cross to play. It's a one diff, not a zero diff. And it doesn't have the unblock ability, so it does build it anyways. Like, like this card is just good in every zone, right? It's, it's good on top of your deck. It's good in hand. It's, it, it's good in your card pool. It's good at blocking. It's good on board. There's not a bad zone for this card to be in, right? Which means it's a four of and everything. Yeah, this is the reason to go buy a starter deck.
And then the last card that we have uh, is a 1-5-2 high block. Enhanced flip your combo tech. It's plus two speed. How cool. I'm glad that they that here is a super, super cycle. Um, enhance flip your combo tech. It's plus two speed. Uh, I mean, we had that for Furies, and we have that for... Um, we have that for Furies. We have that for... Uh, we have that for Furies, and we have that for Punches. Wow, I cannot think of the word Punch. Um, so, it's, it's cool. It's cool. All in all... Uh, I think a razor head as a character is like, like I said, like an eight or nine out of ten. I think a lot of these cards are gonna be hyper meta relevant, um, and that's without seeing any of the uh, any of the extra extra stuff. Um, but let me know. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the in the comments down below. Do you like a razor head? Do you not like a razor head? Are there things inside of his kit that you think are are too good or not good enough? Uh, I'd love to to hear and, and have a conversation with you. So with that you guys, thank you much for watching. I appreciate it, and I wish you well.